Ben and Marion at the Detroit, Michigan, where everything depends upon a proper understanding of Genesis 3.15, where the Most High God said to the serpent, I will put enmity between you and the woman. Her seed's heel will bruise your seed's skull. Something strange is happening. It is said that there will be signs in the sun and the moon and the stars. How can you explain these things to people who are not willing to listen? He who has an ear, let him hear. There are three things that bear witness, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. It's the mother, sorry, the Father, the Mother, and the Only Begotten Son. If the Holy Bible is a Helios Biblios, it is a sun book, imagine this. It's not so much whether we're if the earth is flat. It's not so much if the earth is revolving around the sun, but it really depends upon how you look at this. Enoch had three, 720 degrees of information, understanding. A square is 360 degrees. A circle is 360 degrees. You add those two together, 720. It's mathematics. It's squaring the circle or circling the square. It all depends upon how you look at it. But it appears that this Helios Biblios, this sun book, this astrological book has been anthropomorphized. The S-U-N has been the S. O N. The M O O N has been feminized to be wisdom, the mother. What happens every month for a woman? What happens every month to the moon? They have a connection. The moon is feminine, it's the mother. However, depending upon how you look at it, this object that goes in front of the moon throughout the month, it is a, it appears to be a spherical planet, but it's really a square. But whatever this planet is, it goes in front of the moon but we can't see it. See, no man has seen God and lived. Whatever this planet is that goes in front of the wife, it covers the wife. He, he takes his, uh, his cloak or his, uh, I can't think of the word, his, his garment and covers his wife. It happens every month. But many people are, when they're reading this book, they're thinking that the Father is glorifying the Son. But in actuality, the Son glorifies the Father. We glorify the Father. You glorify your parents by being obedient by not going out there and committing crimes and, and you know, having kids, you know, with any and everybody. You're not, you're not shaming your parents. Well, the heavenly parents, the moon and the father, the one that's covering the moon right now, that's our parents. But the S-U-N is the S-O-N. It just has been anthropomorphized. It's, it's like Humpty Dumpty had a fall. Or Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. Okay, can an egg sit on a, on a wall? But when we have anthropomorphized, when we, we've made this inanimate, inanimate object, had given him 
a personality, giving him features of humanity, then it's a way to tell the story. It's like Mother Nature. You know, nobody messes with Mother Nature. Remember that margarine commercial way back when? But these three, it's the moon, it is the S-U-N, and it is whatever this planet is that goes in front of the, of the moon every month. When this planet is revealed by the S-U-N, the S-U-N is going to give light to whatever is covering up the moon now. And there's going to be weeping and gnashing of teeth because people are not going to be able to handle what they are about to see. Whatever this is, it's, it's been here all along, but we haven't seen it. But whenever the S-U-N starts giving off its light, or it's going to give off a, a certain spectrum of light, we're going to be able to see this planet. Now, some people call it Nibiru or, you know, the, everybody has a name. Everybody has a name. But even the scripture says, you know, do you know, do you know my name or my son's name? All we know is the characteristics, father and mother. We see the S-U-N every day. And the S-U-N, you know, how the Gentiles have personified it is that the S-U-N died on December 25th. See, they're watching the S-U-N. They have made the book. They have looked at the book in a different way, but they're telling an astrological story. The S-U-N died on December 25th. And then it... it was reborn it was re resurrected so even when the egyptians when they do horus ra and set and all of that they're doing an astrological story same same principle but different names with mithra uh the religion of mithra you know if you looked at mithra mithraism it really is christianity before christianity they had a Pope, they had a Eucharist, they had confession, they had it all. Catholicism isn't new. There's nothing new under the sun. But what is about to happen? This event is going to be so mind boggling. And, and, and the thing is, it's not, it's not the event. This is the, this is the coming, the the glory of God. We're, we haven't even seen God yet. But the glory, that's what we're about to witness. So, you know, if this is credible information, then, you know, how do we look at the book? And I think we look at the book in, in this fashion. We should consider it in, in this fashion. Know that there's a, cal a calamity coming. Understand that. It's a calamity coming. It is what it is. Prepare yourself like Joseph. Get some food together for you and whoever you can. Your family. Um, you know, I, this vaccination shot, you know, that's really, that's on you. All I know is when this book has said, don't take this mark so that no man can buy or sell. And now they're trying to say you can't come into a restaurant if you don't can't prove that you have the shot. Well, you know, it is what it is. And it looks like I can't see this uh, moon. You know, I can see it real well. But tomorrow, tomorrow night, if you have a clear sky, go out and you look at the moon and and just change your paradigm a bit and and look at it as though there's a circular planet going in front of the moon 
and I think this planet is really square, but it, it's, it's dependent. It's we see it. We see the curvature of the planet because of our eyes. Our eyes have uh, has given it a spherical form. So, you know, the eyes are the windows to the soul, you know, so get your food together because it's going to be a little shake up. If you can't get the food together, get your oil together, get prayed up. And maybe you can fast for 40 days. Yeshua did. So can you. I'm not here trying to debunk the historicity of Yeshua. I'm not trying to debunk anything. I am trying to make sense of it. Being a watcher. If you see what I see, if you can consider what I'm saying, bring an offering, bring something to the table. This Bible is dealing with clues, this information. Yeshua himself said he, he speaks in parables because, you know, this information isn't meant for everybody. But if you are part of the few, bring something to the table. And what I mean by that is bring some information. Let's let's put this thing together so that we can get through it. God has created all types of flesh, a flesh of birds, a flesh of fish, a flesh of terrestrial and a flesh of celestial. I am trying to get my resurrected body. I am trying to get there, trying to work out my salvation with fear and trembling. I am the man of Marionatha of Detroit, Michigan. I ask that you pray for me and pray for all of the citizens in Detroit. For the prayers of the righteous, uh, righteous availeth much. Peace.